The lotion. Oh boy. We just talked about this. I said a lotion. He's got a good car. He has to get to yeah, the end I'm of one of these races. He was running fourth. Yeah, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah. Appears just to be a one-car crash for Mikhail Lotion, as mentioned, was running fourth. And Good about to see he's okay. About 20 laps ago, he had a big moment coming off turn two. He got through a bump and corrected and hung on, but. Like we talked about, these yellows, it's who's going to get it first. Who can hang yeah. on before needing to come to pit lane for fresh tires? And unfortunately, from Kale Lotion, he was the first man out. We went to the driver's meeting this morning, Townsend and I, and they said 60% of the accidents, uh, Brian Barnhart said, happen in turn two. That bumpy turn two is a big bump in the middle. As we watch Mikhail, he floats it into the corner, hits that bump, and it just gets loose. He buries the throttle to try to get it to spin all the way around. But it was going for the wall. I like the I like the <laughs> commitment on the cast, though, man. He was uh, he was going into the fence and still going to hold it wide open. And that was his teammate Hinchcliffe there, who came by and came the closest. Just looked like he had a nice big arc into the corner, and he went Townsend for the bottom of the track, and it just over rotated and just. Once it got sideways, he buried his foot in the throttle to try to keep it from going up just up to the wall and try to get it to spin downwards, but it, uh, it wasn't having it. Great heads up driving from Ed Carpenter there. You saw he was right on the fuel map switch going immediately to save fuel under caution. Anything he can do for a little advantage, whether that's filling short on tilt lane or being able to stretch these yellow laps a little longer. So let's go back to Phoenix and recall what happened there with Mikhail Lotion. This was at the start of the race and took out a lot of people. Didn't last very long here. Made one corner before he took out about five or six cars, including Sebastian Bourdais, who was on a roll up to that point, and Graham Rahal. Outside. Outside. Oh, hold on. That time he got out of the throttle, Paul. This time yeah. he thought, well, let me try the other way around. Yeah, he tried to get it to spin down the track because it, it went loose pretty early, but it carried its momentum up and uh, he had the throttle going wide open, the tires spinning, but ultimately it connected flat, flat pancaked against the wall, and tore up the both sides of the car, the front, front and rear corner are, are pancaked. Hello, Mikhail, you're running fourth. You made a great save a few laps before you spun. Tell us what happened. Well, I had a really loose car all day and uh, I was just holding for my life there all this first stint and uh, I don't know how many times I showed uh, my saves, but uh, it was almost every lap. And then suddenly, uh, at the last lap, I just, uh, it went, and I just couldn't do anything, you know. It was just impossible to, to react. Oh, well, we're, glad you're, we're glad you're okay, kid. Kevin. All right, thank you, Robin. Tough one for Mikhail Ocean and Schmidt-Peterson Motorsports. They've still got James Hinchcliffe.